things that I've learned over the past probably three years of consuming YouTube and like trying to watch every video to up my YouTube game. Now, something that you have to be very, very sure about is that you have the time and the ability to create videos on your terms. What I mean by that is that you're not stressing out over the numbers, not the view count, not the amount of time watched, uh, you know, whether people subscribing to you, whether they're liking your video. If you're getting too caught up in those things and you're worried about how and when you'll be able to monetize your channel, you have to slow down. You, you have to sit down and really rethink what you're doing here on a platform that is meant for a place to share your content and also to kind of give back to the community that's given so much. I'm gonna give you three tips, uh, three really quick tips about how to shoot your videos and how to be a little bit more efficient in your world of YouTube this year or you know any video platform to be honest. I just, I feel like YouTube's the only one that most people use. Uh, tip number one, find a place in a space that you're kind of comfortable shooting in. So uh, for me, it's this room, it's this studio. Now, uh, I've kind of built this studio around making sure that I can have multiple sets in it. Uh, what, what that kind of means is like, this set right here, we're gonna, I'm gonna spoil some things for you. Hopefully it doesn't show too much of me, but if we zoom out, you see how, well one, you can see the, the boom mic here, but you see how like these walls are empty on this side and you notice that this back wall is the only like accented wall. Well, that's kind of meant to be that way. Now I do wanna fill in these walls with more stuff that is in the works for this room, but that's my big secret, at least in this video. Um, and then like off to the sides, we have more kind of like, I have shelves with stuff on it with, with like my gear. On this other side, I have a couch and it's, it's kind of like being able to use one room or a place in your home, in your apartment, whatever it may be in your parents' home, I don't care. And using it as efficiently as possible and finding the most like different angles to shoot from. Number two, to up your game this year on YouTube, and something that I'm trying this year is bulk shooting. What that means is that, like I've kind of shown you, I have like this quote unquote set, but the thing is is that I can kind of switch it up and just like, huh, how do we, let's just bulk shooting. So what that means is that you're gonna use basically the same backdrop or whatever, your location, and you're gonna shoot multiple videos. Just change your shirt. <laughs> change your shirt, you don't even have to change your pants. I'm still wearing the same pants that I was earlier. And all I did was change the lighting in the background. You can move a couple of things in the background if that helps. And you can just move on to your next video. So take a day out of your week when you're planning your videos and just shoot multiple videos at one time so that way you're not having to set everything back up, especially if you're like me and this space is actually a usable office space. You don't wanna have to like get your gear out, put it all up again, and then get it out again to shoot another video. That's just the hassle, and it slows down your efficiency, so work efficiently and bulk shoot. You can shoot two to three videos, that's more than enough in a week, especially if this is not your full-time job. So we're gonna move on to the last thing, and that's tip number three, don't overthink it. Everything and anything that you'll be doing at the beginning of your YouTube career, or your channel, your birth of your channel, I don't, I don't know what to call it, your path to like, doing YouTube efficiently and effectively, you have to stop overthinking the little things. Stop, you know, being so obsessed about, you know, the little, like the, like say, like this, this hard drive in the background, like I could, I could like go crazy about it. I could feel like I need to go move it. I need to like get rid of it. Some things are just not necessary to like overdo and overthink have like a good setup, enjoy what you're doing, and you have to have fun when you're making your content. Because if you're not having fun, then the person across the room, like, or across the screen watching your video is not gonna enjoy it either. One of the biggest things that was my biggest downfall was that every time I started shooting and then after I got done shooting and I was trying to edit, I would just like, the little things would be like my little stutter or like my breathing was too loud and I would get so obsessed over these little things that all of those projects never became actual videos. That is something that I'm trying to avoid this year is that, you know, some things can be great, 
Some things can be perfect and some things can just be good enough. And good enough is more than enough for YouTube. You have to understand there's a lot of people creating content and to really make yourself different, you have to just be you. What I've been doing this year and, and creating the content that I've been creating this year and talking to my friends who are creating content and everything coming together has just been so much fun. And I just want you guys to have that same bit of fun that I'm having. So go out, create. As always, if you like this video and you found it helpful, give it a like, subscribe if you aren't already. And of course, take care of yourselves. Don't be a dick to each other. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye. It's the third video I've shot, guys. I, I just, we're going, we're going nuts.